So I was asked to come out of my silent winter time to say a few things how I have spent my silent winter time. And my silent winter time was actually not so silent. I was uh, playing a lot and exploring a lot because I had a strong wish to make a new Jiridu solo album. And so, um, well, the times had some turmoil and uh, some doubts at some point because I had some concepts in the beginning what I want to do and I didn't uh, make it uh, because I felt a stronger energy in some other direction and um, I had one day which was very important for me which was like a divine intervention when I played something that I would really like to play but I didn't even imagine it so that day I recorded something which was uh, which anchored me in the new ways of playing and uh, all the rest or most of the album uh, revolves about around that energy um, I was contemplating a lot uh, what I can offer uh, with the Jiridu you know it's a very simple instrument with limited possibilities well not so very limitedly but and I realized it's a kind of simple um, transmission of the pulse and of the vibration of some textures that cannot be heard in other types of music and that most of life that is flowing through this music is kind of shape-shifting the pulse and the vibration from one form to another and to another and uh, it's kind of unique almost unique for uh, Didgeridoo that it can shape-shift so much and takes so many different uh, forms. Somehow you can, uh, through this abstract uh, presentation of life, you can feel the life in, in the beat and in, in the rhythm and then it can flow into something which is so difficult to describe and it flows again into something which is more recognizable, maybe something which could be described as a simple melody. But then it can flow again and again and again. So I was a lot um, exploring that a aspect of digital playing. After my um, days of divine intervention, I had uh, the feeling that I have to learn how to play everything perfectly. And for a while I was practicing and doing that intensively. And then I realized I cannot learn it it's, it's such a long short time such long uh, parts of music so I felt like I started to lose energy and it became dangerous because it would be another year that I didn't make what I wanted to make and so I said we cannot do it like this anymore we cannot practice anymore life must start now and recording must start now and I'm ready because I say I'm, I'm ready I have to do it so I'm ready and this was maybe the crucial point of my album recording the point in which it, in which it happened whereas if I continued to pursue the perfect conditions the album would probably never happen and in the end of course it has some mistakes some are deliberate and some are not and of course in future I will be able to play it better but if I didn't record it now maybe I wouldn't be able to perform it at all in the future because it's it wouldn't stick this energy wouldn't stick with me it wouldn't stay so as the album is also kind of a reminder of what is possible and so I want to keep it with me Is a cat. There are two cats around me. <laughs> so sorry for that 